Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, we are continuing through the book of Proverbs. We're in Proverbs chapter 18. And today's simple reflection is this. Give 100%. Give 100% specifically in the workplace, wherever God has put you, whatever your setting is. If your work is, uh, at this season of your life, is your studies, give 100%. If your work is in the home, caring for family, give 100%. If your work is in the marketplace, in the medical world, in the tech world, in the, in the resort world where we live here in Monterey, lots of people work in the, in the resort industry, whatever it is, give 100%. Here's our verse for reflection today. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 9. The one who is slack in his work is brother to one who destroys. Now again, ancient language, got to kind of put the pieces together, but the one who is slack in his work, the person who is lazy, the person who doesn't give their best, is related to, is partners with his brother to one who destroys. A couple quick thoughts. First, work is a gift. We don't always think of it that way, but biblically it is. In creation, before the fall, before any sin came in, God gave Adam and Eve meaningful work to do. It's a gift. It's part of paradise. It was when pain came in later because of sin, it became complicated. But from the very beginning, work was a gift. Second thing, as a follower of Jesus Christ, you should give 100%, give your best to whatever you do, but particularly in your work. Because the way you work makes a difference. It gives a testimony to who you are as a follower of Jesus, and it gives a testimony to who God is as the ruler of your life. And then finally, laziness, not giving your best, is costly. It costs us, ultimately. If people work in a workplace and they don't give their best over time, they tend to move down and not get, you know, financially, not get paid as much. It's costly to the people around you because your work impacts others. It's, it's costly to the reputation of the place that you work. But more important than all of that, it's costly toward the heart of God. The God who made you and gives you the opportunity to make a difference in this world delights when you give 100% when you give your best. And I believe that it hurts the heart of God to see people who He's gifted and made uniquely and beautifully not fully re realizing their potential. So here's the encouragement today, give 100%, whatever you're setting. I remember one of my first jobs at Carl's Jr. I, I had this in my mind. I didn't want to, to um, waste that opportunity. And so everything I did at Carl's Jr., this fast food place, I thought I'm gonna do it as if it were, for, I'm gonna make this burger for Jesus. I'm gonna clean this floor for Jesus. I'm gonna wash these dishes for Jesus. And what I found out was that I not only didn't go down, they wanted to elevate me because it turns out not everybody had that attitude. As a follower of Jesus, Give 100%. Lord Jesus, this is our prayer. That we would be so inspired that you would gift us and call us and give us opportunities that whatever our work context, we would give our best. We would give 100% of what we have to give. Not that we have to work like someone else, oh Lord, but the best that we can do. And may you receive the glory when we do that. We pray this in Jesus' beautiful and wonderful and powerful name. Amen. Hey, if you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you Sunday morning, 9 o'clock or 11 on campus or online. If you're part of another church, get engaged in your local congregation. God bless you and have a great day.